Hey y'all, it is me, Stop Drop and Roll On, and it is Monday morning, March the 1st. Um, and I think I need to explain something first of all. When I, like when I put these shots fired, when I put that up in the front, I don't know if I explained this or not, but I'm going to do it now. It's not clickbait stuff or nothing like that it's just so you'll know that it's about me processing something usually when you're out in a situation if you unfortunately have been in a situation and people yell shots fired or something like that what people normally do is they become keenly aware of their surroundings and then they start probably most of the time instinctively making a plan to escape out of said situation. That's what I mean by shots fired. It's just a personal thing. And I mean, sometimes I'll be talking to my mom or to somebody and if somebody says something that sometimes even if it's inflammatory or if it gives pause to make you think, I might come back with saying the words, shots fired. And uh, this is just the way I talk and it's what I do, okay? So that's what that means. If you see it in front of a video, y'all, I'm going to share some stuff that I usually try not to share. I'll go into detail. When you have a person that comes out of surgery, what normally happens is you can't feel anything. If you've had surgery, you know that there are these people. I call them red herrings. Some people call them other things. I mean, that is a term for it. But every now and again, you have a person that wakes up during anesthesia. That is not the desired effect. effect. That's not what, what we're going for at that point. And then, but normal, under normal circumstances, when you come out, you don't feel. The number one thing is for you to come out. Number one, number two thing is for whatever the issue was, for it to be resolved. And then we commence with, you know, moving on down the road, managing you to healing. Okay. When people have had extensive surgeries, and then in some instances, they have these things, what we call pain balls or whatever you want to, that's just the term that's used. But when you don't have those, it's a window period of time where you're going to start to experience pain. Anesthesia wears off, you blow it off, and and when I say blow it off, never mind. The anesthesia wears off. And there is a fine line where you have to get to a certain point, but you don't go beyond that point, or else you're going to be chasing pain as a as opposed to staying ahead of it this is as simple as i'm gonna make it and i know there's those of y'all y'all get it y'all understand it a lot of people have had surgery you know what i'm talking about what i have been doing you have that numb thing and um where you don't feel anything it's like oh this is just a piece of cake i'm getting ready to go jump a fence and run a marathon and you 20 minutes out from surgery are you an hour out or two the real thing is none of those things that normally fire that make you feel pain on, on that nerve pathway it's still like you know down here but when you start feeling you know something has happened. Your body starts sending you signals. And then you govern yourself accordingly. Hopefully you take what they give you. And you use it judiciously and responsibly. That's all I'm saying about that. What I have been doing. Is being numb to a lot of stuff. 
like saying, well, it's going to pass. That's not what I think it is. This is not that. And everything gives a warning. You have this, this like this little, little low, or like a drone ache. It's just kind of like this and it's steady. It's present, but it's steady. And you will fool yourself into thinking this is all it is. And oh yeah, I can handle this. Now, I'm not a medicine taker. That's just me. I will go get a stick and bite on it until before I just constantly. But the recent surgery that I had, I had to break my rule. Usually, I'm, I'm discarding pain medication. And this time, I still had some left over. Because that was so intense that I could not, not do something about it. The other, usually like I said, maybe day one after that, I just take it and bite it. I don't even know that until recently that I realized I had a high pain tolerance. I have a high physical pain tolerance. And what I'm finding out is I have a high emotional pain tolerance as well. And that's what I'm talking about today. I have been being numb, feeling pain, but still acting like I'm numb about a lot of stuff. I have been silently, what I would say, uh, in some areas with certain things grieving. And I'm just telling the truth. This is what this is about. And then in other things, being numb to feelings of dis disdain, uh, in some instances, flat out anger, and sinning not, Bible verse. And what I'm finding out is, you have to be aware across the board. It's not healthy to just sit up and numb stuff. That's called, in my world, it can be called emotional eating. It can be called low-key brown mode. When when I say that, I'm talking about brown moods. Some people call them blue moods. I call them brown moods. And, um, and sometimes you just flat out disconnect. I've done all three. I think the best thing to do is when something is what it is, then you need to deal with it in real time, where you don't end up doing all of these other coping mechanisms to try to circumvent dealing with what's real and what's going on. Now, I am a Christian. I don't sit up and claim stuff, and I don't say something. But, but there are things that have occurred in, 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 in my situation that have required and needed me to pay attention to them. And had I paid attention in real time to them situations, I can tell you I would have saved myself a whole lot of issue, weight gain, frustration, anger, and we can just go down the road explaining and saying and being honest. I'm being for real honest with myself. I hurt just like everybody else hurt. I feel just like everybody else feels. And this is what I have people telling me now. Well, we don't ask you how you doing. Even when serious stuff goes on because you always know what to do. Okay, and that's all I'm going to say about that. Because the truth of the matter is, you don't ask me how I'm doing because you don't want to know how I'm doing. Because nobody on this planet always knows what to do. And I'm telling the truth. Okay, I'm done with the Shots Fired series uh, for the day. I'm not saying all the way along because I got... Some, no, I'm just saying for today's thing. I'm talking about numbing myself versus feeling. Okay? I'm going to do less of this over here. And I'm going to do more of this in responding and reacting in said timely manner. 
so that I don't have to keep walking down this same path over and over again. Now for some comic relief. This ain't even... Y'all know that we were involved in some stuff with this weather here recently. We were under the boil water situation as well. I don't rely on boiling water um, like that because we were prepared. You know, I, I, I buy water and I keep water and I was buying extra water. We have enough water for drinking. We still have water. But I did not deviate from buying water because the way the weather was doing. How about Pierre went to go get something that he had to have from the store. And I just told him, I said, well, you know the drill. Get some water if you see some water. Do not drink. bring me drinking water. I don't fool with drinking water. If the thing says drinking water, I don't buy it. If it is, um, I don't even drink spring water. If it's not distilled water, I don't drink it. Okay. And at this point, I have a Brita filter, but I didn't even trust that the filter would be able to um, eradicate what needed to be pulled out. I'm really considering getting an RO system, but I don't know about that. I love RO water, though. How about Pierre comes back with this? It's empty. But I just wanted to show y'all this up close. Pierre done came in here with some Chuck Norris C4's Naturally Alkaline Water Premium Artesian. This is just like man stuff. Wow, Chuck Norris. That's all I got, y'all. You saw it here first. And I still boiled it. Toodles.